If you're new to weaving, sometimes it's good to start small. Today, we're gonna show you how to weave using a needle and yarn with our very own peg loom. For this project, we'll need some yarn, your needle, a fork from your kitchen, some scissors, and of course, the peg loom. First, we need to make our warp. To start, take the cotton twine and tie it around one of the corner pegs on the loom. Then begin running the twine in and out of the pegs like this. Once you get to the end, tie a knot around the last peg. And there you go, you have a warp. Now let's start weaving. Pick the yarn you want to start with and thread the yarn through the needle so that it doubles back on itself by about four inches. Starting on the right, weave your needle over the first thread, under the second thread, over the third thread, and so on, until you reach the other side of the loom. Now you can go ahead and pull your yarn all the way through until a two inch tail hangs out the side of the loom. Next, grab your fork and push the yarn down so that it sits right against the pegs. Now remember that tail sticking out the side of the loom? Using your hands, weave the tail into the loom, but this time go under the first thread, over the second thread, under the third thread, and over the fourth thread, letting the rest of the yarn hang under the loom. Now for our next row. Grab your needle and starting on the left side of the loom, go under the first thread, over the second thread, under the third thread, and so on until you reach the other side. When you pull your needle through, leave your yarn at a bit of an angle. That way, when you push it down with your fork, it isn't too tight. Now, all you have to do is repeat. Once you run out of yarn, it's super easy to change colors. Just start weaving your last row, and once you get to the middle, cut your row a little short and use your fork to push the yarn against the previous row. Next up, grab some yarn and feed it through your needle. And starting from the same side, weave your needle all the way through the loom. But this time, pull the yarn until it overlaps with the previous row by about an inch. Now you can grab a fork and pack the yarn down so that it sits against the previous row. And that's it. All you have to do is repeat, repeat, and repeat. Once you get to the end of the loom, Tuck the yarn behind the last row, like this, and cut your thread. Now, go ahead and pull your tapestry off of the loom. And if there's a little bit of warp yarn showing, just use your fingers to spread your rows out until you've covered it up. And you're done. Congratulations, you're officially a weaver. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.